Did Iggy Iggs and Azalea Banks seriously just record a song together after two years of openly hating each other? I'm sorry, are pigs flying right now? Um, we've got the truth, guys, coming up on Rumor Patrol. Joss, are Iggy and Azalea Banks really collaborating on a song together? Okay, so not much honestly surprises me in Hollywood these days because I feel like every day we come walking into Clever and some weird thing is going on, but I did not see this one coming. Not at all, not at all. Okay, these two have hated each other since like 2014. Since like before you were born. Before I was born. Basically. This like, feud's been going on forever. This feud goes back so far, and just to note a few a few things, let me tell you, the things they're feuding over are not necessarily small. Just like to kick it off, no big deal, but Azalea Banks has pretty much said she wishes Iggy was dead well, yeah. in the past. <laughs> so, so that's a good kickoff. Um, she also compared Iggy to uh, Becky with the good hair in Beyonce. I mean, it's great to be a part of Beyonce's world, but that's not the way in which you want to be a part of it. You don't want to be Becky. I don't think. Nope. Iggy apparently responded to this whole thing, filling everyone in on why she thought Azalea Banks was so upset with her. Mm -hmm. She said that Azalea said this, I'm next level. I had a song about being a Barbie before Nicki Minaj had a song about being a Barbie. Here's the link to my song. And fuck Iggy Azalea, I had a song called before she ever did. Here's a link to my song. It's better. So basically what she's saying is that Azalea Banks claims that like all these ideas she's ever had ever yeah. were stolen by every other rapper and that's why she hates on all of them. It's just like, it just makes me sad because these two women are trying to be rappers in this industry that's already hard enough for mm -hmm. women to break into and they just went head to head. They went head to head literally since before 2012, which is why this whole situation is so shocking because in this insane twist, Iggy hit her Snapchat account earlier this week to say, public service announcement, Azalea is going to be on DD. We are collaborating. Burn your wigs now or preserve them in your freezer for release day. I don't really get this at all and the fans don't get it. They're freaking out. Yeah, everyone's like, Iggy, why do you want to collaborate with someone who wished you would die? This girl doesn't like you. And same thing with Azalea's, ba her fans are like, why do you want to collaborate? Does she have fans? She do I actually have a friend who went to her concert. And really? I was like, really? Yeah, she I does. just feel like, I mean, just totally as an outsider, all she puts out there is hatred on everyone, not just Iggy Azalea. Yeah. So I'm just curious, that's all. Um, so Iggy's fans were shook to the core, and she actually had to hit Twitter to, in two tweets, say this. She said, I don't expect you guys to understand why I would collaborate with someone who has publicly said they hope I die. This has been something extremely negative for so long. If there is a way to make it positive and also be creative together, I'm here for it. So is this a negative into a positive or is everyone just thirsty? What's going on? I think it's a negative into a positive. Okay. And although it hasn't been confirmed whether or not this is actually happening, because uh -huh. Azalea spoke out, she was like, nothing is set in stone, but we have talked about it and I want to move forward because she says that she thinks this would be a good lesson in history for two women to come together after having a beef. 100% agree. Yeah, but I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be a historical moment. Azalea. I don't know if it's going to be historical. <laughs> Azalea Banks also hit social media. Here's a little bit of what she said. Please let me clear up any misconception for anyone that took my words out of context. I am incredibly flattered and so excited about a future collaboration with Iggy. There were also heart emojis, so you know maybe it's on. all is good in the world. It's good. I gotta say, I'm gonna wait to see how this all pans out. Yeah. It's just been such a long road of hatred. I do hope in my deep, deep heart that this is all good. What do you think? I mean, I hope, I hope it's happening. I think it's a good thing. I'll listen to the song. I live for petty stuff. <laughs> I know, I love like petty theft, everything we cover on Clever. If they get too friendly, we're not gonna have anything to talk about on this show. But I am happy that they're squashing the beef. And the song has gotta be 100% focused on the beef. One, oh, it has to be. They have. They can't address anything else because that's what everyone's gonna be talking about. 100%, they could do literally a whole collaborative album about their past history. So oh, yeah. Drew, is it true that after many years of hatred and a full on war, Iggy and Azalea are doing a song together. This rumor's totally true. true. But wait, you guys, if you want more drama, click that box over on the left to find out if Rob Kardashian's really going to jail. Or you can click on over to the right to find out is Kesha releasing an illegal album.